Hi, my name is Doyle Smith. I'm a field engineer uh, for Army programs at Hal Instruments. Uh, hi, I'm Mitchell Bosart. I'm the uh, software engineering manager here at Hal Instruments. And today we're in our simulation room in front of the uh, Blackhawk simulation environment where we're going to be demonstrating the H5900 HL-60 Advanced Engine Instrumentation, AEI. The Advanced Engine Instrumentation consists of one multifunction CDU, two multifunction PDUs, two enhanced digital source collectors, and the installation kit. It's a form fit capability enhanced replacement for the current uh, Canadian Marconi VIDs that's installed in the Legacy Blackhawk. And to just give you a little scenario on this, the pilot goes out to the aircraft, he does his pre flight. Once they get that completed, they pick the aircraft up to a 10 foot hover and they accomplish their hover power check. Well, by doing that, they have to look at their data and compare it to what they've already done as far as performance information goes. We alleviate all that by taking the pilot to the MFCDU, hitting the maintenance button, going to the calculate gross weight button, and what it does, it goes into the flight performance module, it brings out the data as far as the weight goes, and the pilot can either accept or reject it. Once he accepts it, I'll go back to the primary page, on the MFPDU, now all his torque targets are current. The MFPDU has uh, three declutters. The primary page is HAL Instruments version. The upper right has the gross weight of the aircraft. Beneath it is the lift capability of the aircraft in the current conditions. Torque reserve, which is the torque above the 50 foot uh, OGE hover power. Torque available is the total combined torque available of both engines. And AHF is aircraft health factor. Um, as you look at the graphics themselves, you see that uh, there's two torque bars. One for uh, engine one, Q1, and one for engine two, Q2. Come down from those and you see torque available. So that's a dynamic torque available as you go into different conditions that actually changes. So as you climb to altitude, that actual torque available will come down. Beneath it, you have your out of ground torque target and your in ground torque target. And because you did the hover power check and calculated your gross weight, those are spot on torque targets. So at O, you're at 50 feet, at I, you're at 10 feet. In addition to that, what we've added in the lower right hand corner is the fuel quantity. The current aircraft only uh, gives it to you in pounds. We also give it to you in uh, hours and minutes remaining. Now, as we transition through 40 knots, you can see that uh, the display has changed somewhat. The out of ground and the in ground torque targets have uh, been replaced by your MR and ME, which is max range and max endurance, and that crossover occurs at 40 knots. Uh, next, we're going to demonstrate OEI, one engine inoperative. So, the scenario is the pilot's flying along, it crews, and he has an engine failure. When that occurs, the display will depict which engine has failed. So in this case, the number one engine has failed. Uh, the torque bar is replaced by a foot per minute bar. In the upper, upper left hand corner, uh, you'll have an airspeed for current indicated airspeed and beneath it RC for rate of climb airspeed. Uh, if you match those two airspeeds, if you take your current airspeed and match it to your best rate of climb airspeed, it's the best climb rate you can have for the conditions that you're in. The next item to look at is the uh, MFCDU. Now because we take the old Canadian Marconi CDU out and we're able to put in an active matrix liquid crystal display, uh, you're able to bring a lot more to the table with it. Uh, for example, if you have a FLIR or some type of sensor system on the aircraft, uh, you can incorporate it with our MFCDU. Next is a digital map. So if you have a digital map system, you can also incorporate it uh, with the MFCDU. And we currently use uh, Flight Scene from Harris Corporation. The next item is the IV hums. Uh, we're able to display IV hums on our MFCDU. 
Uh, currently, the aircraft that have the IV hums installed, uh, they have a, a display about the footprint of an APR-39, which is about a, a two to three inch display alphanumeric. So by displaying it on our MFCDU, you're able to put more information on there, record information, and, and take a look at it. Additionally, we have planning pages. We have LZ planning, and we have OEI planning on the other side of the uh, page. So left side is LZ planning, the right side is OEI. It'll give you what the conditions, uh, predicted, predicted conditions are for where you're going. For example, your predicted gross weight, your predicted torque, and your predicted torque reserve, and your lift capability. And the same thing carries over to the OEI. It tells you what those engines can do. You can also do this in single engine, so you can either do it in dual, or you can break them out to single engine. For more information about AEI and other HAL products, or to contact a field engineer, visit our website at www.howlinst.com.